Hello, everyone. This is George Anton, and uh, I have to tell you, I am excited about doing this Google Hangout. Um, I have a very, very special guest. Actually, two, but um, uh, I want to start with um, I am here in Michigan right now in a, a cheap hotel. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in Embassy <laughs> Suites. You'll see it. Hotel curtains behind me, <laughs> and just before going live, DC had something interesting to say about this curtain, so I'll <laughs> I'll have a talk about that later. Um, but I'm in Michigan, and it's snowing. Um, I love Michigan, actually. I love the snow, just maybe for a few days, and um, I'm here for a presentation, and so I'm really excited about having um, my guest today, DC. And uh, DC, hello, how are you? I am fantastic. Thank you. So excited to be here with you and then I also wanted to go ahead and introduce Mayumi Young. Mayumi is a beautiful entrepreneur. She's a CPA. She is very, very sharp, very smart. She has a whole global point of view and uh, also conscious entrepreneurship. You can learn more about her at mayumi.com and, and, and it's also listed in the page here. And so Mayumi attended our Money and You program quite a few years ago, and she also attended the family bank game a couple of weeks ago here in San Diego. And because of her background, she met her husband at my program. So she definitely loves Money and You, not for that reason only. But I thought it would be great for her to come in and chime in every once in a while, particularly for the fact that her family actually created a real family bank the way you recommended, George. So she's an advocate for both of our work, which is the exciting thing about this Google Hangout is that we have people coming in from your side of the world. You are a wealth strategist. You are, you know, you created the family bank game. I have, uh, you know, the Money and You program. And so we have very different fields, very different industry. But we have joined all three of us, and with all of our teams, we are very much aligned in spirit in transforming educational systems and eradicate poverty and hunger, in creating generational wealth, having a wonderful life, being connected to family, and loving the planet. That's what we have, you know, in common. So let's hang out together. So May Mayumi, welcome to the call. Again, I'm very excited to meet you for the first time. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. It's my pleasure. I, just before this call, you told me a little bit about uh, your background, and I'm fascinated by that. I'll be asking you some questions about that here in, in a few minutes. I want to start by talking about how uh, DC and I met. Um, I want to share it with the world. Um, <clears throat> I had heard of money in you for a number of years, and I purposely sent a number of people that work uh, at the company and I said, I have heard some amazing things about Money and You, so I want you guys to go check it out. And uh, they loved it. And uh, uh, and then I asked one of the people that went to the game, or to, not the game, but to the uh, event, I said, I want to meet DC. Do everything you can to set up a lunch. And so we they contacted DC, and we ended up having what was supposed to be a one-hour lunch end up being a three-and-a-half-hour lunch and, uh, in San Diego. It was incredible, and ever since we've been working together and uh, uh, connected. So, DC, uh, I'm really excited about uh, about this call. I want to start by talking about Money and You. So, I went to Money and You after that, and I loved it. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how Money and You came about? And you've been doing this for 37 years now, and I've heard some amazing people that have gone through this and has transformed a lot of lives. Can you start from the beginning, how this came about, and what was your vision from the beginning? Thank you. Thank you. By the way, you are one of the best talkers I ever had, and I really appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to say that uh, Haydar, your business partner, Haydar Nasa, was supposed to have done this program, and there was something that came up, and he couldn't do it. So. Between the two of you, the two of you are what I call my knights. And Mayumi is also a dame, a knight, because of your hearts. And, uh, and so what I wanted to just share about the Money in You program is that originally I was in the legal field and I was, gonna, <clears throat> I was a, an official court reporter first in the L.A. system and then Hawaii. 
And I was going to literally grow up to be an attorney. And for eight years while I was in that system, I learned so much about business and building businesses because so many of the cases were about businesses and about money and finances, you know, whether I was doing a, a case or I was uh, doing a deposition. But I was a very unhappy young woman, very unhappy, very successful. So I moved to Hawaii, had a profound spiritual experience that put me on a path where I began to look for what did I really want to do in life? And I thought that every human being went through that. I just thought I was a common person and later found out how unusual that was. And then through a series of circumstances, I first heard Buckminster Fuller being introduced by Wayne Earhart of what used to be called Est and then Landmark evolved from that. And I spent a whole day listening to him and I had never heard anyone describe how to move from from scarcity thinking to sufficiency to have an abundance. And I joined what it was called the Hunger Project at that time, and really about eradicating poverty and hunger. And all of a sudden I really found something that I that I could really get behind and I became like really, really behind it. And then one of the assignments was for you to go and meet a very wealthy person that didn't need any help. And to make a long story short, one of my um, one of my teachers, Sandra Ray, introduced me to Marshall Thurber and Bobby DePorter that were launching the first business school for entrepreneurs of its kind. I attended the school. I knew that it was my work and pretty much just fell in love with it through a series of circumstances. I became a partner a year later and then um, Marshall and Bobby went on to do other things. Marshall is a very high level um, consultant. He's a genius constantly explaining the world in different ways. He's, he's very, very brilliant. And Bobby DePorter went on to create Super Camp and she is a master of teen education. So in 1985, when I inherited 100% of the intellectual property on July 8, 1985, I looked around and there was a young man by the name of Robert Kiyosaki who had been around us for about five years. He had done Money and You at the same time that Paul Mitchell, the hair guy, had done it, uh, Ben Cohen of, you know, uh, Ben and Jerry's. In that year, it was an amazing year. All these guys had done Money and You. In 82, 83, Tony Robbins did it, 84, uh, some of the biggest uh, people in the world at the time, the one minute manager my, um, attended it. So by the time I inherited the work, I needed to find a partner that could continue this work. And, and pretty much money in you is about, in many ways, churning out social entrepreneurs with a set of tools that they can then have profitable businesses, but also add value to humanity because many of our teachings are based on the teachings of Mr. Fuller. So I looked around, Kiyosaki was there, he had been a Marine, he followed directions, he was awesome, excellent, and he and I worked together for nine years, and it was my idea for him to write his first book, which was called If You Want to Be Rich and Happy, Don't Go to School, and we ended up really moving from the American um, universe, so to speak, and we went to Australia, New Zealand, and we went to Singapore, Hong Kong, and then, you know, he went on to do investments, and then he found Sharon Lecter, who was a master at distribution, publishing, and she and him and the whole team launched the whole Reach That for That series, which in many ways is based, the first book is based on our world, so it was the ultimate leverage for me. And then we just, then we went into the Chinese world, so for the last 37 years, I've been pollinating the universe, so to speak, like a little bee, kissing, going from flower to flower, and for those that have done money in you, this will make sense to them, and really applying the principles that we teach in our Money and You program, our Accelerated Business School for Entrepreneurs, and touching the lives of people that they find themselves in many ways, and then they go out and create whole new industries, paradigms, uh, foundations, and businesses, and if people go to moneyandyou.com, they will see many of the notable graduates, including Harv Ecker, who 
did all of our work for seven years and many others and not you guys. So what I do, my mission, one of my missions is to transform educational systems around the world and eradicate poverty and hunger, which is in alignment with both of you. And my purpose in life is to really uplift humanity's consciousness through socially responsible businesses. And so because I'm in that, and I have learned from so many masters, I created a business model that has allowed for me to receive royalties, to not have to work, to be financially independent. And then that allows me to go into other businesses like the greening of the world and do things like uh, yeah. partners with the world's leading renewable energy you know, entrepreneur, and then also do humanitarian work. And so that's a little bit about my background in money and use. So, DC, I want to, there's a lot of things you said there that I want to expand on um, about the network, the global network you've built and, and all this stuff. But before we do that, I want to talk about something powerful at the Money and You um, uh, event, which is you have a lot of these games, you have a lot of interactive things going on in the game, um, and they're so powerful. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So what I'd like to do, ask you first, DC, um, why did you set it up as games and interactive? And then second, I want to ask, uh, after you're done with that, Mayumi, what did you get out of uh, Money and You? And um, what, what did you think of all these games? They're so powerful, but what did you get out of it? So I want to start with you, DC. Can you talk about why this was created to have games and very interactive sessions? So just remember that I inherited the work. So Marshall Thurber and Bobby D. Porter in, uh, in September of 1978, right after my first business school, they hired Georgi Lasunov from the Bulgarian government. They paid US $25,000 with switch of fortune. And what they wanted to do was learn from the master because the, the, the core technology of our work is based on a thing called the business success model and the first step is to learn from masters. And so they learned from him about using left and right brain teaching techniques. And the first business school had been about Marshall and Bobby had created all these games and exercises. And literally we were guinea pigs for six weeks and we loved it. We were learning and learning and learning how to do all these games. And then we were learning entrepreneurship and all these things. So after the Georgie Lasanoff experience, what happened was that Money and You was created. The Business School for Entrepreneurs was six weeks long and people were asking Marshall and Bobby for a shorter program. So they came up with a program called Money and You. And I had been bugging them and asking them if I could please have a job and give me something. Because I was retired from being a court reporter. I had savings. I, I could do anything I wanted to do. That was my first retirement. And so they created this program called Money and You. And so then I attended the second one and it was offered to me so that I could participate in it. And through a series of circumstances, I became a partner. And for three years, we played all these different games in different order. And what happens is that Money and You is so masterful because after three years, and I didn't know that I was a bit of a logistical genius, and just my personality is that, so Marshall would ask for something and I would provide that and he would say yay, nay, and then we would correct, correct. So it took us three years to get money and you to the level that it is now. And, and when Kiyosaki and I became business partners, Marshall kept changing the program because it's very brilliant. So when Kiyosaki and I became partners, I said I want to go back to the version, the 1982 version, that had specific games that what they do is like, it's almost like a painting. And, and we begin with low gradient, and then it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And the way that the program is designed with all the different flip charts and color and music, frequent breaks, and a lot of food, a lot of refreshments, water and tea and coffee and juices, and all these different foods throughout the day, it creates a very safe environment for people to keep going deeper and deeper. We don't even have videos at, at the break. We don't sell. It's a full-on program that's a stand-alone entrepreneurial program for 44 hours. And through the years, with all the different entrepreneurs that have come out of, Marshall has been gone for 31 years now. So I inherited this work. And then all of these different masters 
aside from the ones that we had already attracted earlier, came in and then we started identifying the work, uh, work like the theory of discipline structures that Marshall had discovered in the 70s, 79, 80. And then we went to a whole other level, Kiyosaki and I, and then my other partners. Uh, the same thing with, um, with the technology of games. Through the years, we have discovered all these patterns of thinking and what an entrepreneur really needs to learn. So when I met you, George, and then you had, because I was there at the beginning of the cash flow game that Kiyosaki and Sharon Lecter and his partners had developed, but they took it to a certain level. And then when I met you and saw the family bank game, I, well, I flipped because this is exactly what our network needed. This is exactly a whole other quadrant. You know, the cash flow quadrant was taught to yeah. Kiyosaki and I by, you know, uh, the genius Keith Cunningham. And so we touch on business and entrepreneurship. You touch on investments. And then we have people like Mayumi, and this is why it's perfect. We want to introduce her next, of course, because you take a Mayumi who is, she's, if I may call it this, hot, beautiful, sexy, smart, and committed to the betterment of humanity, and she's a CPA, and she is very clear on her purpose in life, but she also truly understands profitable businesses, and I'll let her continue with what she does. So it is people like Mayumi and many others, over 100,000 graduates, that has put us on the map, and now we're connecting with people like you. So Mayumi, take it away. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I am really honored to share my experience with everyone, and, and I'm going to answer your question, George, in reverse order. Um, you asked me, uh, the second part was, what did I think of the games? Um, and for me, the, you know, I've done well over a decade, probably going on 20 years of personal development, and so I have done a lot of work and in transformational education especially. And one of the things that I can say is that this is one of those experiences that even today, when I did it in 2007, where I did meet my husband, I'll say that in, in a moment, um, even, even very recently my husband and I were just sharing about the profound impact that that level of experiential um, games had. For me, it was, it was the ability to get out of the head and it, and it integrated almost like into the cells of my body. And so I walk and breathe and live the distinctions because of the way that the, uh, the transformational education is presented. So I thought the games were extremely powerful. I remember them all. Um, I, many of them were, I, I didn't get the game, the intention of the game, so I got the lesson, <laughs> um, which I carried forward into my life. So the games were powerful. And then you asked me, what did I get out of Money and You? And, um, you know, other, I'll start with the, <laughs> the biggest and best outcome, which is not a predictable one, which is what DC mentioned at the very beginning, which is I met the love of my life out of Money and You. And I, I will tell you that there is, I cannot, I, cannot do, I cannot spoil it, there is a really powerful part of the game uh, in the program. And in that program, I had such a profound connection to my heart and to the essence of me that was I wasn't connected to prior to this um, doing this work and I think that that experience for myself and for my husband gave us the ability to connect on such an empower powerful beautiful divine level um, so you know that to me was the biggest blessing of all uh, was to get to to have my husband and we knew we'd be married literally when we met at the game Amazing. and so <laughs> so that's a huge outcome not a predictable one, but uh, definitely the biggest outcome I got from Money and You. And, and as far as um, what I took away from this in terms of the life that I live, um, I, I've been an entrepreneur for the last 16 years. And when I did this program in 2007, I was really um, at, a, at an impasse. I was deeply and profoundly committed to being a social entrepreneur. When I left corporate America and left being a professional CPA, I was committed that I was never going to start anything that didn't make an impact. And yet, despite being a financial expert, I really struggled with this conversation of how to generate wealth sustainably. What was the principle of true wealth creation 
um, that was real. I didn't have any examples in my life of what it looked like. I didn't have anybody who owned businesses. Everyone I knew had a job. And so, you know, I struggled with trying to figure it out as I went. And when I ultimately did the program, the, the biggest outcomes that I got were, were the principles and the distinctions of what it really looks like to be a social entrepreneur who's consciously designing profitable enterprises that add a tremendous amount of value to the marketplace and make a difference. And every single one of those principles, and I struggled as an entrepreneur up until this point. I started my third business in 2008, at the end of 2008, and I took every single one of the principles that I learned every single one and I don't want to share them because I don't want to give any of them away it's just so great to discover them out of the program but I'll say what happened and that is um, I ended up creating a, a business that was very mission driven but it was for the first time profitable scalable and had a tremendous impact on um, uh, I was supporting mompreneurs um, and I had an impact of probably close to a hundred on uh, mompreneurs and um, actually just successfully sold off um, that prac that business uh, at the end of last year and none of that I feel would have been possible had I not gotten these distinctions That's and I know that this is this is the outcome for many I mean I'm not the I'm not the exception this is normal for people to take these principles and apply and, and make a, an impact in their business in the world that's amazing that's so good to hear so DC I have a question for you how does it feel hearing that um, that you impacted not just her life, but really you've got a whole global network now all over the world, and there are so many people that share the same stories, the same successes. How, how does that feel? Well, let me see that I won the lottery. Mm. I, I won the lottery, and and not the lotto. I mean, I feel like a trillionaire. I feel so happy and when we get into conversations like this uh, when you see young people uh, because Mayumi started pretty young and we are affecting so many young people that it, it my when I started at 27 years old with the hunger project uh, that we were going to eradicate poverty and hunger by the year 2000 then of course you know we did quite well by the year uh, 2000 and right now we are on track for probably less than 20 years, we're literally going to eradicate poverty and hunger on this planet within 20 years because of technology. That is the greatest feeling in the world. And these are all of this. It, this is There's a whole team of people. And I am so excited, by the way, for those of you watching this in Asia, CPA is a certified public accountant, a chartered accountant on your part of the world for my Australian friends. So see this, I'm introducing both of you to also my network because they're watching this worldwide and what we love about Google Hangouts is that they will stay in the system and they will learn from you. So Buck Mr. Fuller used to say that technology was going to make it so much easier for us to have a world that works for everyone and please go to my Facebook and download, you'll find me DC Cordova and Dane DC Cordova, make sure you like it and follow me. But what I want you to do is download the big headlines that I have with asking the question, how do we make the world work for 100% of humanity and everything else in there. And this is what a lean entrepreneurship looks like, the three of us right here. And it makes me feel over the freaking moon happy. There's not enough money in the world that could ever make me this happy because we are going to have a world that works for everyone because for me it's like it won't matter how much I have as long as there's one child on the planet that can be fed and that people are suffering so much that people have nightmares on how they're going to pay for their rent for their food to have shelter and to be able to take care of the elderly and the young so I am for just to make sure because we're talking to many Americans here I am forget what I am politically, but I've been called a fiscal conservative and a social democrat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I believe that entrepreneurs are going to get us out of the financial messes that we have, but I also know that we need to take care of our elderly, of the children, and of people who haven't been educated 
for them to take care of themselves. So here, I would like to transition to have, for a few minutes, to have Mayumi speak about her family game. Her family actually had a family bank. And so would that be okay, George, if yes. we have to share I've, about that? I, I have to tell you, I, I was blown away by the story. And I think everyone should hear the story. So go ahead, please. Oh, wait, hold on, George. Can you let us know real quickly what the family bank game is? Because that is, see, you are one of the entrepreneurs that that I know of that is so successful. And then you said, okay, great to you know teach all these wonderful people to be wealthy, but we really need to help the world. So just tell us a little bit about the family bank game. Yeah, the, the way it came about was. Um, I've been working a lot with investors out there and helping a lot of investors become extremely successful. But um, last year, so uh, I would say late 2014, early 2015, we wanted to create something that would have the biggest impact on the regular average family. And so we went out seeking the, the, the simplest financial strategy that has the biggest impact on uh, the average family. And we found out that this thing called the family bank um, is the the most powerful uh, financial strategy and the most important financial strategy for the average person uh, for the average family today. Nothing out there comes close to it. And so we we're very proud to have launched it. Um, and um, we we were doing a number of events last year to test it, and um, we've some, seen some incredible, incredible. Um, uh, feedback, but also some uh, uh, successes. Uh, and in fact, I know Mayumi, you went to one in San Diego. I wasn't there, but uh, I'd love to hear not just what you thought of it, but also your background, because that was so such a great story you shared uh, before the call. Yeah. Um, so when I DC was the one who introduced us to introduce me to the family bank game that was coming up in San Diego, and I couldn't believe the word, the name. Because we, my grandfather, actually, had started a family bank. And I was sharing about this concept with people many, many, t over 10 years ago um, because it was so powerful and had such an impact in my life. And so when I saw there was such a thing called the family bank game, I was like, I absolutely have to be there. And so the, the, the um, I'll share a little bit about my experience about the game in a moment, but let me just give you a framework of what actually happened in my family um, with my grandfather. So my grandfather was one of seven children, and many, probably over 50 years ago, his mother was ill. And so back then they didn't really have HMOs, so they all pooled their money together to help her with her medical expenses and her health care. And when she got well, they had this money left over. And so he said, well, why don't we just keep going? Why don't we keep adding to the pool? Now I have to tell you, these were school teachers, homemakers, bus drivers, bookkeepers, you know, these were, my family was a working class family. And um, and so what happened was they could put in what they could. It was a very small amount, but they did so every month consistently, all seven of them. And what they did was they chose to um, borrow against that money and pay it back with interest. And what they used that money for was to buy real estate <laughs> in the Bay Area in the 50s. <laughs> That's quite an intelligent purchase and um, all of these ordinary everyday working citizens were able to amass wealth that would have probably never been available to them any other way and you know they bought multi units and Victorians and all of that and I got to witness this as I got older and got to see the power of this and participate in the family bank and um, my father my grandfather passed away um, in 2006 and uh, at the end of 2006 and at that time being the CPA of the family it was my legacy to carry that on um, and and it was difficult because the structure and the way that it was done wasn't as um, sophisticated I think is it, it not sophisticated but it wasn't as um, structured as it needed to be there weren't clear agreements and it was really a function of those seven people hadn't passed on to the other generation successfully and so when I attempted to do it ten years ago um, wow ten years ago this year I it didn't work and I didn't have a framework for how to get the family united around this and to continue this amazing legacy that was created and there was a statistic that I heard many years ago that lives with me even today which is so powerful to this 
conversation, which is I think there's something like 94 or 96 percent of all wealth that's created is gone by the third generation. Well, my family was a perfect example of that statistic being true. By the third generation, our generation, we did not apply the principles, we did not know and understand, and the wealth that was created by these amazing individuals was gone by the third generation. And so I'm committed that that never happened again. And so our generation is applying what we learned at the family bank. I, I, the minute I left the game, I, I called my sister and I said, I have a solution. I didn't know how we were going to do it before. I know exactly how we'll do it now. And I know how we'll, and I said, listen, the, the reality is we may never see the full expression of this, but this is something that isn't going to die off in two generations. This thing's going to last forever. And that ability to actually fulfill on one of my deepest personal missions, which is really to create generational cycles of wealth among ordinary everyday citizens, is so impactful and so profound and I'm so grateful that I have had the experience of the family bank game. I have the structure. I know how to bring that back into our family and I can actually get to honor the legacy of my personal hero and, and somebody I respected and admired tremendously and that was my grandfather and to be able to carry the legacy in my family. So, so powerful. So powerful. I, I sense all the passion in the world. That was incredible. Um, it came from your heart. It just was amazing. I, I thank you for that. Um, that's incredible. You like moved me to <laughs> amazing. That was great. Um, so I I um, um, I think the, uh, there's a lot of things that are built into the family bank game that are really incredible. I'm going to just mention one of them because of your background as a CPA. And um, recently, someone. Um, uh, DC sent to the San Diego game, uh, Bob Bryan, uh, who's a wealth manager and works with very affluent uh, families. And he had, he went through the game and then went home, and he's a numbers person, and got his Excel spreadsheet out <laughs> and worked on the numbers. And he's like, I want to see what this internal rate of return is if we you know, do it this way. And then he called me and uh, shared the numbers with me. I was blown away. So I want to share them really quickly here. He said after a number of years, I think he said three years or five years, I can't remember what it was, um, he said the minimum internal rate of return, the minimum I think he said was 19 percent and as much as 36 percent internal rate of return by simply using the family bank game, a family bank strategy. And if you think about it, that beats stock market, that beats everything out there and you get to control the risk. It's not like you're putting money out there. So it's such a powerful concept, and um, there's so much to it, obviously. But uh, I, I really want to go back to, and thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I, I want to go back to, to DC, because DC, there's a number of things you've said. I really want to sort of dig in a little bit deeper. And one of them was, now you have this global network of, of people all over the world um, uh, doing money in you. And one of the things that was so apparent to me is that when I went to the um, Money and You, there were some amazing contacts there, and you seem to have some amazing, amazing contacts um, in all these these trainings that come there. And so, I tell people, if anything, just go for the connections; they're incredible. But can you expand on why uh, worked to you and why you have this Money and You all over the world now? What's what's going on with that? Well. But right now, you're seeing it. And I, I, right now, I'm having a hard time talking because I'm so moved about the way that the Great Spirit organizes everything. Because for me, it's like I, I feel that when you follow the clues, you know, people will interview me. I, I get interviewed all the time, and there's books and things. And actually, I'm going to be publishing a couple of books here very soon. One of the things that people say, what makes you successful? You have worked with some of the richest people on the planet. You met Fidel Castro. You met prime ministers. You meet all these people. I just met one of the world's leading banker from, um, from um, Citibank, uh, Michael Eckhart, who has been working with Citibank for 10 years in leading the renewables and, um, and investing all over the world. And so... One of the one of the things is about following the clues. And right here, I think that people are having an experience of 
I can just hardly wait what you guys are going to do together. And, you know, in combining my Yumi's, you know, experience and, and then all the things that you and Hadar and your whole team does. There is going to be synergy there. There's no question about it. And that is what has grown the network for now 37 years because people refer people, but also uh, when we went into the Chinese market in late, uh, uh, in the late 1990s, um, uh, I'm sorry, yes, yes, it was about 1997, 1998. What happened was that we were literally taken went on a silver platter by a billionaire into China. And that opened up all these doors uh, because billionaires go to money and you. You know why? It's like we actually asked one. I, I remember the first time I had a billionaire in the program, I went flying over there at the end of the program. I said, what is a billionaire doing in a money and you program? And, and what it was is that for them, they have the same challenge that Mayumi was talking about, that they build all this wealth and then they know it's going to disappear in a generation or two. And their children are spoiled, they're not getting along with their spouses, or they have too many girlfriends, or they have uh, you know too many divorces, they're not talking to their brothers and sisters or family, there's all this conflict. And what they heard in Money and You, that they were going to learn generalized principles that were going to support them in living a life that works for them. So what the network has done is that they keep referring people and so for a regular person, uh, a middle class person, a person that may never have met a billionaire, you know, we have a policy that once you attend a Money and You, you have a lifetime membership to attend any program anywhere in the world in any language for free. So if you want to open up your markets, right now we have Money and You coming up next weekend in Chennai, India. Then we have our Money and You the following weekend, which is uh, going to be February 25th through the 28th in San Diego. Then we're going to have a Money and You in English in Kuala Lumpur on the April 23rd. And then on April 28th, we are in Auckland, New Zealand, and they it just keep going. In between there, there's all of these Chinese programs. So if you attend the Money and You in Chennai next weekend, or you attend the Money and You in San Diego, you go, hmm, I think I want to expand my global market. Let me go to moneyandyou.com, and let me go see the schedule of events. And we're just getting ready to put all the Chinese programs there. You just go, I think I want to go and open up my market in Shanghai. You literally would call me and we need to confirm with the office there that you are a Money and You graduate. So there's a certificate and you literally go there, we'll tell you where the venue is. You walk in, go to the you know the, the people in the back and just say English, English and somebody will bring you someone that speaks English and let's say that you are in the printing industry and you just say, may I please have you know, anyone here that has connections to the printing industry. Believe me, in less than an hour, you probably will have some of the most generous people because the Chinese, the Asians are much more, much more than Muslims. They are so generous, so generous. And they, you will probably have this whole network of people and access to because that's what networks do. And so they, they kind of keep an eye on each other. People don't mess with people too much if they're part of a network because they won't last long if they come in with win-lose games. So you can go anywhere and that's the power of having 100,000 graduates in over 65 countries. So I'm going to invite everyone uh, listening to this to uh, seriously con consider uh, attending the Money in You. I'll tell you it is incredible. Um, I went there with uh, a whole bunch of people from my network, and we had a blast. Um, so uh, the website is moneyandyou.com, moneyandyou.com. And I'll tell you that uh, in addition to everything you're hearing here, um, there's so many, so many, so many distinctions, so many powerful lessons, and it's such a freeing uh, event. And what I mean by freeing, it frees you up from... <clears throat> Your limitations, it frees you up from um, uh, so many 
appear. I can't say more than that. Um, and it allows you to um, be aware of possibilities that you never thought are, are there. Um, and it's all done through these games. Um, so you tend to, uh, just like Mayumi was saying, it's not something you, you hear, it's something you experience. So every cell in your body um, becomes, learns the lesson. I can't exp say that any differently, but you automatically know the lesson. It's not like you understand it, you, understand, you get it at the deep level. So I, I highly recommend everyone to consider it, uh, moneyandyou.com. And um, now in the San Diego one, um, this, yeah, are you going to be there? I'm going to be there for sure. Mayumi, you're going to come and visit? We are in South Africa, unfortunately, so I won't be at this one, but I'm, I'm, I, I have been at others, and I will definitely continue to participate yeah. and rejoin everyone. Now, when you're in South Africa, we have some amazing graduates, so make sure that you, you uh, send me an email, and I'll introduce you. So one of the things that I just wanted to say, um, you know, the program begins on a Thursday night, and so people can fly in on the Thursday. We, we like you to be there at 6 o'clock for registration. We actually start on time at 7 o'clock. And, uh, and we always have lots of food and drinks. And we get you, really welcome you. And you go all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. They're long hours, but they're worth it. And one of the things that happens on Monday, if you're coming from outside of San Diego, we'd like you to stay behind if you can and fly out on Monday night or Tuesday morning. Right behind you, this is my home, been here for over 30 years, and uh, what you, in, in those blinds, that's the Pacific Ocean. So this is a beautiful, my little presidential suite that the Great Spirit gave me so I wouldn't have to ever worry about housing. And so one of the things that we do is the, the program, because of the games, there are so many new neurological pathways that get created. And I want you to go to moneynew.com and download the four-session business makeover, which is four hours of entrepreneurial education. The, the last hour I'm talking about Money and You, but giving some other lessons. But I'd like you to listen to the, all of them, but the second one is by one of our leading instructors. His name is Dominic Leon. And Dominic, when he started working with us, his company was trading about what they call trading in Australia, about $6 million a year in office supplies. He now brings in about $120 million a year in office supplies. I probably have the most successful real-life entrepreneur trainer on the planet <laughs> that comes in and teaches for us every few uh, months. And so you will hear from him about leverage and about teams. And, and, and the reason I want you to download this, and then also go look at the different, uh, you, can Google, um, you can go to info at moneyandyou.com, and we can send you links so you can look around for some of the teachings. And I love Google Hangouts. And the reason is because you have access to free education, not only from me, but from others. And what, what I also want you to do, and especially if you're in the Asia-Pacific region, I, when, when George and his team, and they bring in the family banking, I want you to attend it because it's a whole other dimension. And especially if you have done money in you first, because it prepares you to see different distinctions. And also, my new definition of wealth, and I came... Uh, I came to this conclusion, which is really interesting. Uh, Werner Erhard of Landmark, which I love, education, who created S, used to say that very few people have original thoughts. Very few people. We're actually repeating, 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 you know, what we hear. And, and every once in a while, you'll make a connection, but you probably will see that somebody else is doing this. And one of, the, one of my only original thoughts that I think I've had was my new definition of wealth. And one day it came to me. So true wealth is having access to cash, access to resources, access to networks, to investments, to experts, to masters, to knowledge, to support. And, and when you have that kind of access, you then can really create success in your life. And so what happens is that when you see what we call resource 
poor people. There's no such thing as poor people. People are poor in resources only. But there are so many people that have very little money that are so brilliant. And who knows how they ever manage to survive if they're brilliant at it. But what we need to do is give them the resources like with things like the family banking. And then also other types of education. So I want you to take a look for those of you that are really considering coming. And I want you to just come along. Get a hold of us and we will let you know about the special prices we have for you and maybe even special deals. Don't ever let money get in the way of you getting more educated, especially around financial literacy. But the one thing I want you to do is to look around and take a look at how wealthy you really are. Like when I'm with the two of you right now, I feel so wealthy, so rich, because there isn't any problem that I have that you couldn't help me solve or help me even if I was very ill you probably would have resources the way we are doing this with my friend who's very ill the access that we're having to the different medical solutions and the different things that we can do to help him out mm -hmm. so take a look at how wealthy you really are and let me and my team and our team and our, our worldwide resources to help you to expand your markets globally and to, for you to release some of those decisions that you have made that may be blocking you from having the life that you really want and having the level of cash flow and the level of wealth. And I'll leave you with one tip, which is get very, very clear on what financial independence means to you. Once you get clear, how much specifically? I used to love the figure $25,000 a month. I made that up. It was like, I don't know why I love that. I must have heard it in some case in my 20s, in somewhere that somebody was rich because they had $25,000 a month. And that became like my GPS for a while. Once I reached that, then I was able to really feel comfortable and say, oh, okay, so what is it that I want to now, automatic money that I want to create and go to a whole other level. And so what I'm going to do before I leave, I want to just go ahead and have Mayumi share with you some tips to her success, and we'll finish up with George. Because I feel that anytime we get together, I want you to learn something that you can apply immediately, and you can find me just about any place, but do not hold back. Look, the sooner that you get these principles, the faster the longer that you will be able to enjoy the wealth that you're going to create. And if you don't think that you can create the wealth that you deserve, you definitely want to come to Money in You because we will support you through those games for you to clear any blocks that you may have created from school, from your background, from wherever you live. So, Mayumi, what would you like to say to people that are watching and listening all over the world? Well, I, I, I want to say and underscore this. I, I said this early, and for those of you who are coming late, I want to really underscore the idea. Many of us that are on the call are students of personal development and, and personal growth and, and professional growth, and I have a lifelong commitment to it. I have literally done just about everything you can imagine. I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in this kind of transformational educational work. And this, the Money in You program is bar none, one of my you-must-do type programs in your lifetime. And, and when I had the opportunity to see how Money and You, which for me is an opportunity for us to learn what it really looks like, what it really takes to be successful and wealthy as a social entrepreneur, um, coupled with, and so that's kind of about us, right? About the impact we get to make. But when I got to experience the extension of that, to me, I look at the family bank game as really an extension of the powerful impact that Money and You has, then I got to see how I can actually take what I learned there to create that wealth, to have that impact, and then leave the legacy that I know I'm here to leave. So it's the, it's the you know, what can you create in your lifetime and then what legacy can you leave behind? And I think if the truest core and essence of every social entrepreneur and every person who's really here and gets the real purpose and essence for being here on the planet gets that we're really here to leave a legacy. And so th that was powerful. And, and um, I'll say one other thing that um, 
uh, you know, when we talk about um, sorry, my computer went out for a second there. When we talk about the power of a network, um, uh, Tony Robbins talks about proximity is power. Uh, there's something powerful that happens when you are around people who are like-minded, whether it's at the Money and You program or at, a, a, at the Family Bank. The kind of connections that we've, I've made in both places are so powerful, and you just never know what can come of those relationships and where it can take you and what answer it provides um, because we're just following our divine path. So, you know, the, there's no question this is powerful. In terms of tips, um, you know, I would say that, wow, there's so many things I could say, but because we're in the conversation called generational cycles of wealth, um, one of the biggest lessons I've learned about being an entrepreneur and being somebody who's out there uh, contributing and leaving a legacy um, is that this isn't... Um, and there's actually a distinction in Money You that really makes this clear. Um, we have to work collaboratively and collectively inside of a win-win-win environment, a win-win-win world. And how, how true wealth and legacies are created are done in, in small committed groups that are out to do and create something bigger than themselves. And so whether I've uh, it's been in my business or my entrepreneur endeavors or within my own family um, or personally, when I work in collaboration and in connection with other like-minded individuals, and, and a lot of us think, you know, if we want to have a massive impact, we have to have hundreds and thousands of people. We don't. I told you a story about seven people, and that's the beauty and the magic of these types of principles in this work is that it doesn't have to be hundreds of people. It can be a small group of committed people. And, and the impact can be and create a ripple effect that lasts generations and generations. And so I think if there's any tip at all, I would say the, one of the biggest takeaways that I think everyone can apply today is look to see where we can get out of the relationships that are competitive in nature. Look to see where we can transform that into collaboration. Look at, you know, and, and I'll say other, another thing about win-win-win, is that most people stop looking for a creative outcome, a creative answer to a difficult, challenging situation. They just stop the thinking too early. We think there's no way that I can win. I'm going to have to sacrifice. I'm going to have to settle. Oh, well, I guess I can't have that dream. Oh, I guess I'm not going to have that money. Whatever it is that we settle on because we think, you know, oh, well, that's what I have to do. I have to sacrifice. That's not win-win-win. That's win-lose. So what I've discovered is if you continue to allow yourself to be resourceful and creative in your thinking, at some point you will discover, if you never give up, you will discover the win-win-win path. You just Most people give up before they get there. So those, those are my tips. Hopefully that's of some value. I Absolutely. feel like I could just download, but that, hopefully that leaves some value to people and gets your thinking. <laughs> this year I have to tell you something. <clears throat> Everybody you introduced me to, I love. And I'm telling you something, I love this lady. <laughs> She's, incredible. She's incredible. She's incredible. It, she, she, uh, she, uh, everything comes out of from her heart. It's amazing. You know, one thing I want to say to you, uh, you see, was, you know, I had a lot of students come to your training, to the Money and You training, and, you know, one of them said something very powerful to me. They said, suddenly... Every limitation out there um, has been completely removed. And she said, so what's possible when there are no limitations? And that's exactly what Money in You has done for her. Uh, and for, honestly, all, all the students that came. But it was so powerful the way she said it. Suddenly, there's, there are no limitations. And so what's possible? And that's why I think Money in You is so powerful is because um, it changes the way you think. It, it exposes a lot of things. A lot of possibilities, but also helps you remove all these limitations that are either self-induced or, or otherwise. But uh, it's such a powerful program, and I highly recommend everyone out there take it. This is not something like other trainings where uh, I feel like this training is is perfect for with every other training because you need this uh, because it enhances all your 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 other events. In fact, I'd like to ask you, DC, is what is it that makes money in you so different than us? Because I, I know it, uh, and we all, everyone that takes it knows it, but can you help the, the, the person listening out there 
uh, know what, what makes it so different? I would have to say um, it's a combination, it's a synergistic effect. One of them is how safe the, the, the program is. Uh, my instructors, Carrie Zurier, she's so magnificent and uh, she's been with me for over 20 years, nearly 25 years. And, um, you know, they are masterful. And then, you know, we have other instructors that are working on becoming full instructors that will do certain pieces that they cannot get in front of that room without actually having proven the principles in their lives. You know, we have a young Andrew Barron that just became an instructor um, after five years of doing all this work. He was making, I think, $200 a week in New Zealand when he did Money and You, and then within two or three years after doing Money and You and the business goal, he was making $80,000 a month. <laughs> so he discovered that he spoke French and that he knew French, and then he discovered this whole way. He went into the timber business with in this beautiful, exotic little island near New Zealand, and they began to do import of, uh, of this amazing wood in timber and with French people and all this. It was, the story is so amazing. So my instructors are out of this world. Also, there is a very safe, safe, safe space that gets created, and no one has to really share if they don't want to. And when you're playing in games, you begin to go through a process of self-discovery, and then you are in a room with a whole lot of other people that are very much committed to making a change in their lives. And because it is business, you know, we go through a thing called the business success model where you learn that you must learn from masters and mastery and creating a niche, you know, and leveraging that niche through systems and align teams and then you create synergy and ultimately you create results. And my one of my first book is about the accelerated business success model. And and uh, if you email me or you private message me in uh, Facebook, I will connect you with my office that can give you a link for that for a whole Google Hangout on that. So what happens is that you learn sound business principles that have created many millionaires, but at the same time generalize principles. And they are all taught through games. And the worldwide network and also the, the purity of a lot of the people that come along because people don't get attracted to this. We have had a few incidents where people literally left the first night because they got very clear that they wanted to learn how to make money and money only. Only money. They did not want to know their behavior. They did not want to know about win-lose. They did not want to play games. Where is the money? That's it. And so it was like literally just like, thank you, thank you. This is not the program for you. Because I think that when you get a bunch of people together that want to have profitable businesses that add value, the humanity, the tone is very, very different. And and I think that that's one of the key things. There are many things, but we are very, very different in the sense that we're not selling. And on Sunday afternoon, we will tell you about what's available. And we do recommend programs like the Family Banking, which, you know, at 300, 400, 500 US, is one of the most <laughs> inexpensive programs in teaching. Our program is much higher because it's a much more expensive program to put on, but also what we have to do is we are attracting a whole group of people that really want to do business and create tremendous profits in their life and do good. That's what makes us a bit different, and there's a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, there's a lot, actually. Um, hi, time is running out. I'm blown away how fast the time has gone, and... Um, uh, so I think it's, uh, should we wrap it up? I, uh, I've never done this. Oh, yes. I will close it up. So okay. thank you. Well, let me thank everyone. Let me first thank you, DC, so much. And Mayumi, thank you so much. I'm already in love with you, Mayumi. And I think your, your heart is incredible. Thank and you. Uh, I'd love to meet you one day in person. But uh, your story is incredible. And DC, thank you again for everything you've done for us. You, um, you have honestly done so much for... Um, us as a company and us as a network of uh, uh, private lenders and, and wealth builders and I want to 
thank you for that. You've been an uh, incredible inspiration to many, many people. And uh, thanks for being on the call here for a whole hour with us. So uh, all the way from Michigan, <laughs> I want to say thank you again. And let's say hello to everyone around the world. There's people that will be watching this. Many people will be watching around the world. So aloha, everyone, and thank you so much. Have a beautiful life. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.